What's up, everybody? It's your boy Charles, Charles on this world, checking in. Hope you guys are having a good evening. Listen, we're gonna get here to check out this video. Um, so it, was, it was on Vlad TV. Um, really interesting video. It had some had some um, some action legends in here. Um, Michael Jai White, who y'all know from Black Dynamite and other movies. Then you got Fred the Hammer with Hammer Williamson. He was a football player, and then he also set off the whole black exploitation era back in the day. He was in movies like Black Caesar and The Black Godfather and what else? Three the Hard Way. Well, he was in a bunch of movies back in the 70s. He was like the first black action star. So we're gonna check this video out and we're gonna come back with my reaction. Hit that thumbs up button, y'all. Fred the Hammer. <laughs> Give me just one sec. So what you got there? Oh, there he is. Yes. So, someone wanted to stop by during the interview. He did. What's up, dog? What's up, dog? Hey, come on. You know what's crazy? What? I swear to you, I have a, a shirt at home. Yeah. That the, the guy, there's a guy on the front of the shirt that looks a lot like you. Could be me. It's crazy. I mean, the, the, the resemblance is crazy. <laughs> but we're all looking like any goddamn way. So what the fuck, man? Hey, well, they say that. They say that. <laughs> Get a chair. Sit down, man. Oh, man. Get a chair. Get a chair. Hold up. Get him a chair. <laughs> these, these, these chairs yeah. are higher. No. There's no way I'm sitting higher than this man. No, I raised the, I raised the, I raised the camera. <laughs> That's what I did. Yeah. Bring the camera to eye level. How you doing? I ain't telling you shit. <laughs> <laughs> you be mimicking me. I ain't telling you well, shit. Well, you, you know that. <laughs> yeah, you know, I got a, a cop your hat. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know. I talk, we've been talking about you a little bit. Yeah. You know, I said, you know, what you're doing is great, man. And you're going to let your wife out shine you pretty soon. I love that. <laughs> but You still look good. Uh, I, I was going to, next time I see you, I was going to tell you this. I got some, I got some advice for you. Mm -hmm. I remember when I first got into the business, after about two films, I had my manager says, "Right, you're talking black, like a black man. Mm. Yeah, we do do that. And I didn't understand what yeah. he meant. And then he showed me, you and I have this, and all black people have this ability mm. to go high when we talk. Hey, mm. man, what's <laughs> up, man? You know? yeah. And he said, don't do that. Mm. Don't do that. Because it defies your presence. It defies right. what you're trying to represent. Right. Right. So you have to be a little careful mm -hmm. on that. Mm. You can go, hey, man. Like, hey man, what's up? Like, wow, man. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. do that, right? Mm -hmm. Don't do that. I, hey, I, I hear you. You know, you, you remind me of like I remember when I be visiting my my relatives in South Carolina, uh -huh. and I noticed that my uncles mm. they would speak differently when yeah. they would talk to certain yeah. folks. Yeah. And I'm like, well, why do they look? What they they look down? Yeah. And the voice changed. Yeah. And I and I wow. was really aware of that. And I could tell when folks were uh, talking about white folks, yeah, yeah. just by, even if I didn't see who they're talking about, they would say, Mr. So-and-so. But you what, mm -hmm. what, you, what you will find, this will change you weaken your yourself. Don't do that, why? Mm. Because you are physically representing mm -hmm. this voice that's inside of you. Which and you is can man, put away man. when you go, hey, man, how you doing? Mm -hmm. You know, you can say, hey, man, how you doing? Without, hey, man. You yeah. know, mm -hmm. don't do that. Yeah, it I, takes away from what you represent. I believe. Yep, yeah, I I got you. You know, have I, you heard? Have anybody told you that before? You know, um, no, nobody's ever said it the way you just said. It. Yeah, well, that's what my manager's white guy says to me. Comfortable. He said, you know, you got this physique and everything, and blah blah blah, but right. you, you talk black. I said, what do you mean talk black? <laughs> right. You talk black. Right. Hey, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. You're talking black. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it might be a, a coping mechanism to make other people feel comfortable. No. You know, this is it's your world. Right. Exactly. Your exactly. <laughs> exactly. This is, this is your world. Exactly. Mm -hmm. now, I, I hear you. I'm, I'm with that 100. <laughs> so I know you guys are talking about some good stuff. Oh, man. This, this guy raped me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where he got all this shit from, man. Oh, yeah, somebody might somebody have told him some stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who that could the Bill been. Withers story. I'm snitching. Came yeah. from him. Yeah. Came from him. Man, y'all snitching on him. Do you understand what imagery, how important imagery is? 
Let me tell you, I was a kid and I watched Hell Up in Harlem. Mm. I it, it was on a um it was on a drive-in, right? I couldn't understand one word. I stood there and would watch over and over this man, just because that image, I'm like, that's a badass dude. <laughs> I would, I'm like, I want to be like that. And I had a friend, friend Freddie. He lived in the area <laughs> near the, near That's the old school right there, man. I'm driving and in theaters, I would man. go That's to his house right there, man. and watch right. it again because <coughs> from where, he, <coughs> where his <coughs> back porch is, you can watch the whole movie. You <laughs> can't hear a damn can't thing. Nothing. can't hear a damn <laughs> thing. All, all but that's the first thing. And, and I would watch his movies. He was bigger. He's he bigger than he is now. <laughs> but like, it was like that, and it was like it drew me. Yeah. Had no idea I'd be following in his footsteps. But that's kind of what we've been talking about. Like, yeah. Image is everything. You know, that's why I got three rules. I tell you, you can't kill me in a movie after one of my fights, and I get the girl at the end of the movie. Now that's their fucking out. And they go, okay. We can't give you all three, but what you give you, we'll, we'll, you can't have the girl. I said, I didn't, my mind, I don't want the bitch no mother. You know what I'm saying? I'm, just giving, you, I'm giving you an out. I don't want the bitch no way. <laughs> so how can I explain to an 18 year old, 20 year old walking down the street and say, hey, it's a hammer. Yeah, yeah. Why you let that guy beat you up, man? Why you let that guy kill you? How can I explain it to him? If I say, well, I got paid a lot. Oh, you're a sellout, huh? Longevity, man, is, is something that you have to. Nurture, yeah. be careful about mm -hmm. it, because you can go away quick. No, we mm. just, uh, before we got here, we were talking about him, you know? Yeah. Mm. And well, I mean, this is who actually hooked us up together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, hey, uh, I, I got a friend Williamson coming. You should come by. He's like, yeah. oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, uh, what, what was the timing from the, when I said I'm on my way to when I got here? Uh, about four an hour minutes. or so, yeah. Oh, you got no, four, no, four minutes. Oh, yeah, minutes. yeah, you live right down the street. <laughs> prompted him because he was really flaky, man. I wasn't flaky. Took three or four calls. Could three or four calls. You were completely unreachable the entire day. I texted you 38 times and I had multiple people call you. Yeah, but straight to voicemail. If I say I'm coming, he's texting me saying, are you coming? So I'm going, mm -hmm. I, I'll be there. I'm texting back. I'll be there. He's texting I, back. I, I, I didn't get it. Coming? I'll be there. I got, I got no responses the entire day. No. Not what? Today? No. Today. Why? Because <laughs> a week ago, I said, I'm coming. Okay. Fair enough. Fair you enough. You know? Well, I'm yeah, here. I knew my staff was here when you got here. <laughs> but you yeah. weren't. I was not. I was 20 minutes late. Because I didn't know you were there. That's how they are. They think we like it, right? Yeah. How big of an influence? You know, I mean, I know you watched him on the drive-in and didn't really get to see him. Once you actually cool started seeing his movies, what did yeah. you think? That's what oh I'm my goodness. Of there was nobody cooler mm. than this man. And, you know, and, like, as far as, like, I, I still don't look as handsome as the dude. That's true. I mean, that's, you know, so yeah. there you go. That's <laughs> but so, you know, so, but, you know, that, I mean, as far as, you know, the, the like, a, an epitome, I would be, I'd be like, okay, uh, I'm sorry, your James Bond don't, he can't mess with this dude. Mm. Like him and Jim, yeah. th those, those are my heroes. And just blindly, I'm like, those are the images I want to be like, mm. you know? Jim, Jim was, you know, he, he had the, you know, the intimidating the, the men, and this dude not only had the men, but he had the women. <laughs> you know, so, so these was like, these are what yeah. I Frankenstein myself to be. We were discussing earlier about how we, you know, we got along, but you give each guy his space. Mm. Let him do his own thing. And you find a way around. If you're smart enough, you find your way around it to introduce yourself in it. You don't compete with people that you respect. Mm. You find how you, you right. can fit in. Jim Kelly, Jim Brown, me doing Three the Hard Way was three ego maniacs. <laughs> but we understood that. We understood that. Jim do this. Kelly do that. You know, I'm going to be like a butterfly. I'm going to fly around and fit my way in. You know, I ain't going to compete with him. Like I was telling him earlier, we did this Western called Take a Hard Ride. Mm -hmm. And we walk across this bridge and I'm leading the horse. And Jim's behind me walking with his horse. We get across this bridge. Jim jumps me, pushes me. Man. Get that fucking horse's ass out of my face. I said, Jim, walk slower. 
because he's walking behind me. Yeah. So he's pissed off. He thinks that I'm walking the horse slow because <laughs> the tail was hitting him all in the face like this. <laughs> this chill. <laughs> chill, I'm sorry, man. You know, walk slow, dog. <laughs> but that's the kind of camaraderie we had, you know. And we, we didn't compete. I wouldn't compete with him if I did a film with him. I wouldn't compete. I'm going to stand back and see how I can fit in. Mm. I'm not going to compete with him. You know, he can kick his foot higher than man. But I got bigger feet, so maybe I can kick mine lower and hurt the motherfucker more than he is. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so I find a way to fit in. You don't compete, man. And that's what we have to do as people, especially since we are the minority. Wherever we go, wherever we are, we can't compete with each other. Mm. We love compete it. with what's out there, but we can't compete with each other. I love it. Right, right. Exactly. That's old school. That's unity, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't compete with nobody, you know? <clears throat> wow. That was good. That was good, man. I like to see stuff like that. That's why I wanted to talk about this with, this, uh, uh, you know, another, you know, black man saluting an older black man that influenced him. You rarely see that, and that was beautiful to watch that. You know what I'm saying? Fred Williamson, man, he is one of the last of the Mohicans. You know, Jim Brown is gone. Jim Kelly's gone. All the black action stars and back in the day, I'm talking about the original ones. They're, they're all gone. Uh, the dude from Magnum P.I., uh, he was in uh, Superfly. He passed on. Super Ron, Ron O'Neill passed on. So Fred Williamson is one of the, the last black action stars that's still living. It, you know, it'd be cool if they put him in a movie. It'd be cool if maybe Michael Jai White, I don't know whether, you know, Michael Jai White has a new Western coming out. Um, it's supposed to be like a follow-up to Black Dynamite. You know, Black Dynamite was like an under, un, like underground hit that he produced and directed on his own, that he owns on his own. He made it on his own with an all-black crew. If you haven't seen Black Dynamite, it's a really good movie. Like, it's really creative, because he it looks like it's a 70s movie, but he made it like, I think, I think it came out, he made it like in 2010, I think it was, it was, is when it was made, but it, it looks like it's the straight 70s. The way they shot it, the way it's lit, it looked, but it's a, uh, you know, they got Tommy Davidson in it, it's, you know, but anyway, Michael J. White, he has a new movie out, it's like a follow-up to Black Dynamite. Um, it's a Western though. I was like, I wonder if he put Fred Williamson in it. I don't know if he did or not, but, Somebody need to put Fred Williamson in something before he passes on, because he's up there. He's got to be in his, in his 80s now. You know, he was, you got to think, they were in their 30s in the 70s, mid-30s in the 70s. I'm talking about the early 70s. So, Jim Brown also, he's got to be up in his 80s now. But uh, it'd be cool if somebody put him in another movie before, you know, just to, you know, get some of that black man that... 100% unadulterated. You heard what he just said. I like what he said. He was like, this is your world. Don't try to, don't dunk. You meet somebody, don't be, hey, and we do do that. I, mean, I think that comes from slavery. But like I was saying, you know, he represents like black manhood, you know, strong black, him, Jim Kelly. I mean, you got cats like Mike Tyson and stuff like that, but that black masculinity, that strong, that superhero that we don't really have. Muhammad Ali had it, you know what I'm saying? That's what Fred Williamson, he's the last from that batch. You know what I'm saying? Of just take no shorts. This is how it is. This is, you know, forget how you feel about it. This is what I think, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, a black man that wasn't his faith to speak his mind and be strong. And like he was saying, that's something that he said that he would, hey, we, we always feel like black men. And I think that comes from slavery. We feel like we have to dumb ourselves down. We walk in the room with other men, hey man, we, we have to make everybody feel like we're not gonna get them. That's their insecurity. If they think that I'm a monster, that's, that's on them, you don't know me. You know what I'm saying? So why not go in there, hey man, how you doing? Hey, I'm Charles, real masculine, you know, but we tend, hey, I tend, that's just something that we do. Hey, how you doing? Especially if we see somebody that we know, that's a black thing. Hey, what's going on, man? We bring our voice down low for some reason. We don't, hey man, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Holding your masculine frame, that's what a lot of them call it, you know, don't be afraid to be a masculine man when you walk in the room, but we feel like we have to dumb ourselves down because we don't want to seem like we're a threat. Because everybody else is pussy. We have to, so we around these other pussy men that think that we're game bangers, we got to we fight everybody, we don't, we don't know how to uh, resolve conflict without violence. Like Candace Owens, punk ass, was saying we don't know how to do that. 
We do. We have restraint. We're some of the most peaceful people in the world. You know what I'm saying? But we feel like we have to go in and, hey, man, and we're not, I'm not going to rob y'all white people. I'm just in here. No, we ain't got to do all that. If, if they think that that's about me, fuck them. Shit, that's their damn problem. They the one got the problem. They don't even know me. You know what I'm saying? Why am I myself down to make them feel comfortable when they the scared one? What you scared of? I'm just walking into a room. You know, that's and they feel inadequate. You know what I'm saying? So why do I gotta, hey, hey, I'm not gonna do anything to you. And I catch myself doing it when I meet white people. I'm all docile with them. Oh, hey, how you doing? You don't like the way I'm talking to you? Get the fuck out of my face. Bye. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it should be, you know? Like Fred Williamson was saying, this is your world. This is, you know, you may not rule the world, but this is your world. So, you know, that's OG advice, you know? Put your world out there to the world. They don't like it. You know, you shouldn't be giving them fine way to help you pay your bills. You shouldn't give a damn about what somebody who ain't helping you do shit care about what they think. If you don't like me, you think I'm this way or that way, take your ass on. You know what I'm saying? I'm leading my life anyway. That's how you gotta be. Oh well, you know, I'm gonna be all sad because I ain't hanging out with the cool kids. Fuck you. You don't think I'm you think I'm lame, we'll take you will take your your cool ass over there and I'd be lame over lame lame over by my damn self. You know what I'm saying? That's how you gotta be, man. You fuck what, my, what nobody care about what they think about me, about how I'm doing my thing. I gotta be a certain way to be, you, you don't dress like how I'm, I'm a hip nigga, so you can't fuck you nigga. I only got, who the fuck are you nigga? You ain't nobody. You ain't helping me do shit. Anyway, I'm getting too deep, y'all. Let me go ahead <laughs> and get off this. But that's just what Fred Williamson was saying, man. Like, don't be afraid to be, be a man, you know, because in this country, they want to make you feel like you don't, you shouldn't be. Anyway, y'all, give, give me a thumbs up button. Y'all think about that video. That was a good video about Vlad. Y'all, y'all want to watch the rest of it. It's on, uh, it's on this, on this channel and stuff. Anyway, uh, give me a thumbs up button. Thank you.